way to triumph over it is through faith. Amen? Amen? Now, in James chapter 1, verse 3 to 4, it says, Because you know that the testing of your faith produces what? Perseverance. That perseverance finishes its work that you may what? That you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Isn't that a good deal? If there is anything that God is going to poke on and probe, it's your faith. If you ask yourself, Lord, why am I suffering? Because the Lord is saying, I'm, try I'm poking and probing and producing faith in your life. Hello. Lord, why am I suffering too much? You know what? I'm trying to develop your faith. Why? Because... The testing of your faith produces perseverance. As a matter of fact, endurance is the strength of faith. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature, complete, and not lacking anything. Now let me finish with this verse. In Matthew chapter 25, verse 21. Jesus said, when you go to heaven, the Father will say this. He will say to the sheep, well done, my good end. Well done, my good end. So what is God looking for? So what God is probing in your life is the growth of your faith. Why? Because without faith, it is impossible to be so. And let me just close with this statement. The faith that comes from above, that, you know, the, you know, it's through Jesus Christ. Amen. The faith that comes from God is faith in Jesus. Give your life to Christ. Have faith in the one that He sent. Amen. Give your life to Christ. And if you have given your life to Christ, really, let me challenge you with this. Grow in your faith. Amen. If one time in your life you didn't make it, you failed, you faltered, it's okay. It's okay. A righteous man falls seven times. Seven You don't drown by falling into the water, but you drown by staying in the water. You have to rise up. Amen. As I said again, failure is an opportunity to start all over again. And God's faithfulness is there. The Bible says, First John chapter 1, verse 9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful. He is faithful just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And His faithfulness are new every day. Can, this can be a new day for you. Amen. Shall we all rise this morning? Let's pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's make a declaration of faith that we will welcome this year. A year of faith and a year of greater, I'm not saying miracles, but greater miracles. God has already started to work in your life. You have seen miracles, but we want to see more of that. Can we just lift up our hands? I'd like you to imagine who's that giant, what was giant in front of you. I'd like you to imagine what that mountain that is overbearing and overweighting in your shoulder. And, let, and let's have it. Have it released to God. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for you. These are hands of surrender to you as we submit ourselves to you. You said that we will resist all enemies and they will flee. This giant, this mountain, this weight, that sin that easily entangles, be removed from us, Lord, by your grace and by your power. You've never given up on us. And Lord, by faith, we will not give up, oh God, on ourselves, our loved ones, our families, our friends, and our pursuits. Right now, as we pray this morning, Lord, we release these burdens to you. And Lord, we receive the peace of God that transcends understanding to guard our hearts and minds in Jesus Christ. Because Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, yes, we are. And miracles are on its way. Thank you.
you, Lord. We receive this. You said also in your word, but things o e v e r we desire, but when we pray, we believe that we receive them and we shall have them. We pray for the salvation of our loved ones. We, change, we pray for the transformation of our, our loved ones who are not making right decisions. We are praying for restoration of relationships that have been severed. And Lord, we also pray for the healing of those hearts that have been wounded by words. Oh God, we pray that your words will heal them. We pray for the opportunities that need to be opened. That by faith, Lord, you will open opportunities for us. It's not because we are good or better, but because you are good and you are able, and there's nothing impossible with you. Lord God, in our empty calendar, fill it up, dear God. Fill it up, Lord, with your power and with your presence and with your provision and protection beginning today for 2016. We declare the kingdom of God upon our lives, we declare the kingdom of God upon our endeavors. And we declare the kingdom of God upon our loved ones that, the, that Lord, that you will work miracles into their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And I surrender, I surrender all. First Sunday of the month, we do this. And uh, once you receive uh, the elements, just hold on to it. We'll partake together. This is to, uh, in response to the word of Jesus, that we have to do this in remembrance of Him. This is the only thing that the Lord Jesus told us to remember about how His love for us by giving His life on the cross.
Bible says that we need to reflect for a moment before we partake that this bread and cup symbolizes the passion of Jesus Christ before he went to the cross and he was breaking bread it symbolizes his body that will be broken for our sins so that we can find wholeness when we give our lives to Christ and the, the wine symbolizes the pouring out of his blood that we can be cleansed from our sins and it was a night that Jesus had instituted for us to remember that he died for us because he loved us his blood was poured on the cross so that we can be cleansed from our sins that's why we need to go back to the roots of Christianity it is about Jesus and Jesus only who died on the cross for us that we should give adoration and all veneration and no one else the Bible says for there's no other name given to men by which they must be saved it's only through Jesus Christ amen on the night he was betrayed he took bread broke it gave thanks and said this is my body which will be broken for you 